forsaken. Abandoned to the dark, what choice but to follow the flame? To seize the world with this fire is to see it burn first. Hello and welcome everyone back to Total War Warhammer 3 and part 11 of our Astrogoth Iron Hand and Mortal Empires campaign. In today's episode we are here on the technology screen where I'm going to do a little bit of a change up where currently we are working on the alchemical remedies for a bit of replenishment. We are instead going to come on over and grab the living metal to buff up our bull centaur renders a little bit more and unlock kind of their final tier as well where we get the temple training which gives them perfect vigor above rank 7 as well as more melee attack and a little bit of a drop in how much it costs to get more of them. We get Mighty Monsters and the Beasts of Zar, uh, which will just eventually gain a heap of extra strength for all of the big beasties. So we're actually going to stop at Temple Training, just grabbing, uh, granting them perfect vigor. And then we'll come on back over and probably grab the Boiling Blood Sacrifices on this side. Uh, that way we can get through the Kadai upgrade into the Continuous Bombardment for all of our artillery. Which gives them more explosive missile damage, more ammunition, and more missile strength too. All the way up to more range, more speed, and less armament cost for getting more of them. Whole bunch of good stuff there. Uh, we are also going to go ahead, jump into Ooze Block, and get us our uh, first Temple of Ashut. That's in the infrastructure, of course. Father of Darkness must have blood, flesh, and the sinew that binds it. If he is to protect his children. Indeed. Eight turns is a quite some time. So now we're down to 248 raw materials. We have not much to do anything else with. I sent a whole bunch of our uh, excess labor off to the markets to make a little bit of gold. I think if anything, we're going to probably try to put in either the Demon Smithy or yet another Lava Fields that would get even more Bull Center to Rooks. They are such a useful, uh, such a useful hero. A hunter of champions or any other single entities or just pretty much anything you need to give a aggressive bonk on the head there. There you guys. So what can we do with gold right now? Going on down into the bone road, we can upgrade the Veil of Titans walls to get to the factory walls. Yeah, better defenses in the face of uh, Greasus and or Cathay is a pretty good idea. I'll also go ahead and upgrade the Firemouth Temple. That way we can try to get in even more, even more mines. Need more raw materials. All right, sweet. If any of our lords have any movement left over. Rue still smashing his way on through here, and I don't believe we're at war with Rictus. I don't see any other armies for Dusty, but as soon as we do declare it, it's going to be uh, go time immediately. Let's do it, though. We've been stealing labor for him from, a, from him for a few turns. Let's go ahead and steal a little bit more. Don't mess with me. Strength rate 97. No issue. So we will go talk to Karakadrin. We much better to their dismay. Where did you guys go? Have we not met? Yeah, they are. My Slayer Oath would have me kill you where you stand, but I am also a king, so I'll hear you out. See, there we go. We can be friends, especially if you we join your war with the Driven Fangs. Dwarfs versus Green Tians, right? Do not mistake that for liking it. Oh, it's a good old family reunion. The Drazar and their weak cousins. Alright, oh, Demon Stump, prepare yourself. Oh no, orcs. I uh, will go ahead and drop the Hobgoblin standard. Your melee defense sounds good for one of the frontline fighters. Frenzy for the sneaky gits. And then the better swiftness on. I'll leave it to the Taruk. But you going to the, the big heavy lad. Or to give him into a. Uh, a bumper car of doom sounds awesome. All right, this is a battle we can probably go ahead and give to the auto resolve. Well, let's do a bit of training up on how we use our hobgoblin army. So, Gordos, the field.
<laughs> All right. Uh, so we shall start deployment. They're going to be terrified over there. Uh, so let's do the Hobgoblin, Cutthroats, Granite Guard, and the other Cutthroats. Oh, we don't have a ton of room to deploy. That'll work. All right, sweet. We'll grab the Granite Guard. Hold him back just a smidgen. Get back behind the line. Hobgoblin Arch is behind. They sound like they are having the best time. They're overly enthusiastic. That's that's the word. They're ready to cause some, some hurt for others instead of themselves. Just a little bit there. All right, sweet. And then I'll have you, Rook, leading the Raiders, or at least the Raiders go up front, draw those. Uh, Boar riders towards them. Ordos, we have you on your wolf. Okay, so you are going to be quite speedy. Put you off to the side. We'll do the sneaky gits. Like such. Not as much room to hide them on the side, so we'll just kind of do like that. There we go. And then our Lord gonna flap flap it above. Let's do the thing. Whereas honestly, you are on a wolf. Let's go ahead and move on in with our captain here. Everyone else stay on back and await the greenskins. Move up and harass those boar boys. an aspect of the Dread Knight when we get a little bit closer. Go ahead and roll those crooked dice there. You fall back. Well, not the Taruk. You need to keep going forward. You slam in. Give you that extra armor and heals. Not there to keep chasing you. You keep riding away. They're not going to be able to do for long. Bound and feebling foe on, I guess, these work boys that want to catch Gordos. And then the hobgoblins there. Spicy danger noodles here. Bread the patron on these guys as they charge in. Armor of contempt for these three. You go ahead and pull on away as we go for fear and terror and magical attacks. Fear leech. He got annihilated. All right, forward. We're even gonna need our archers. We're just bust them up so much. I give you this, those uh, cooldown decreases. Danger Needle Smash in here. We'll bring the Archer Riders up on the side. We'll, we'll stop them from coming on back. It is wall time. As they face off against the, uh, the Demon Torches. Axe the size of a boar get, gets rolling. That's a bad sign for everyone. Go and pull our lord on away. He and the Red Bull have had a little bit of a bad time here. Same thing with Gordos. Not nearly as smashy as we were giving him credit for. That's nah, just fine. Draw them on back towards our lines. Have them sweep around. You guys are gonna stay right here. As long as you're shooting in on the sides of their shields, that's that's good work. Right, you turn around, start launching your flares wherever you can. Lavor does, and the other riders go around and deal with the archers. Roll the dice there. Come on back a little bit further. There it is. They are orc boys. Pull you through if we can. With Gordos as well. They are all in on taking out your uh, skirmish. A couple of them get dragged down. That's fine. 
You guys should be able to make it back. Now they're going to make it into the Sneaky Gits line of sight, which is going to be a bad time for everyone. Rubbing knives for all. They've already been uh, shot up a few times a week in a fair bit, so. Keep coming on through. We'll just bring Gordos and company in this direction. Yeah, throwing knives finished them off pretty quickly. And to that group, you guys can go ahead and chase them off. The rest of the army taking kind of a, a long way around. He gets you, you gotta catch, go catch them. Go ahead and pull our turret through. Run down those Gabba Archers and we'll go ahead and just charge on them. Back here with Gordos. Then deploy the archers behind these orcs. Come on back, throwing those, uh, throwing those flares. Let's charge on in. Get that breath of hatred on both. All right, let's bring them on back towards the line now. Those archers are done. Move our line a bit so we can actually get some some shots in. Oh, nice. Go ahead and catch them. Gord does. Let's go ahead and run away. We'll give you that extra, extra resilience and whatever we can. We've got yet another wah going. All right, well, let's just circle this side around. We can have the archers start finishing these work boys. Fire arrows are away. Yes, he gets you. Go ahead and catch him there. And everyone here can just charge that group. And look at that. They try to be sneaky about it, but that's a victory. Uh, we'll run down to the rest of these guys with our hobgoblin at Wolf Riders and catch them all up. All right, a fantastic warm-up battle there for our Gabos. They did gloriously 100 kills uh, for the Sneaky Gits, over 100 for each of our uh, Wolf Riders. I wanted to use the Blunderbusses, but we didn't quite get the opportunity. So they got four kills. They didn't even fire a single volley, so they, that means they got these guys with telekinesis, which is impressive. We didn't teach that. Uh, we'll go ahead and sack the Demon Stump. Yes, please, your things belong to us now, Orcs. I'm going to consider my job just to be a huge issue. So Astrogoth is still down here. He's only got the Sentinels and the Black Fortress. It doesn't even have a full province. We could probably get help him get one of those under control. So we'll swap back over into a raiding stance then. It's going to be hugely disruptive down here. We'll go ahead and grab a hard to hit for Franklin. Astrogoth. With Astrogoth, I think we're going to go for the Hellforged Ordnance because it's going to give us more range on all of our Iron Demon and Artillery units, which I think is uh, fantastic. That includes the tanks and the flyers. Sindras, we are using you to steal technology. And so, we should become better at it. I'm not exactly sure where you're at, but oh, there you are. You can do the thing. Oh, you can't this turn. Fair enough. Got Earl. Set up in an ambush over there for that set of greenskins. At Saber Mountain. Oh, we've we've actually got the artillery shell, so if they come after Dorsey Fort, they're gonna be dealing with uh, the Dreadquake battery. Which Oh I can't wait. Oh yes, br bring it on there, Turg. That's definitely gonna go your way. Two more infernal castellans we can recruit to. Let's see about grabbing those guys on in. I think they come from Saber Mountain here. We've got Astra Gruel, the Resentful, and Alrakrish, the Phlegmatic. Reaction control is alright, but I would prefer better, better traits. We'll go ahead and wait. We got plenty of gold to kind of sit on and let things build up. 
we sold all. We've gone through you there, and then... And I don't mind the extra defense of the Maulgate. It is the settlement that is kind of bordering, well, is bordering Cathay, or Cathay proper, so... Keeping defenses there is going to be a good idea. They don't tend to venture into the mountains. At least they haven't for a very, very long time. It's been before like the 3.0 updates before I've seen uh, Cathay actually get into the mountains themselves. We'll go ahead and save here for... Probably the uh, Bull Centaur to work building. Not far from there, we'll end our turn. Outpost available. Who with? Well, you know what, with the service of the Conclave would be pretty good. So let's drop one in here at Zarnagrund. And it just gives us access to all of their units as well. And they seem to have the entire roster unlocked. And that I'm here for. So there's another full army here in, in this settlement. We'll hunt down a Bell Harathoi. And turn. You will be trodden under Hashut's hooves. The question is only when. Alright, Gorse, what do you want? No earthly binds can hold the undead? Alright, if you if you say so. Alright, top knots moving in on Dorge Vort. Do we have the Dreadquake? We've got the Dreadquake and we've got the spicy danger noodles. It's still gonna be a tough fight because of the sheer number of savage, uh, savage orcs. We have to find one choke point and hold the line there. Otherwise, they're just gonna surround and destroy us easily. Set up one choke point and let the blunder muscles annihilate. Let's do it. Okay, so they're definitely gonna spread their troops probably to all four corners. Uh, we have to only keep one of these areas out of their control, so holding this middle would be nearly impossible with the amount of ways in. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to post up on wherever their leader is. Where are you hiding, sir? There you are. And this will be the position we, we protect. There are... If we block things off correctly, only one, two, three, four ways in, which is so much better than... And these Chaos Force settlements are not super different. They are and they aren't at the same time. Alright, cool. Let's go ahead and set up shotguns. At the top of the stairs. Alright, we can't all move them on the stairs, apparently. Shotguns on that set of stairs. Over here as well. We use our archers to defend the back line, so let's go one set of Dobby's our warriors, or Droth's our warriors. One more set of Droth's our warriors across here, being backed up by orcs. In fact, I want the orcs being the first thing that gets them here at all. I don't a position. There we go. Like so. So they'll be chopping through the orcs, and then they'll get to us eventually. Kind of thing. And then the last set of fire the hobgoblins, the captains. The hobgoblin cutthroats here. One set behind here. Alright, sweet. So we'll just keep these hobgoblin cutthroats up front to do some serious damage to this group on their way in. And then they can swap going after the other side. We'll see if this works. Uh, rest of the other two units of uh, Orc Laborers will bring these guys on over. I almost think I want to put them down. Oh, that's not a position we can actually deploy in. If I want to run them down, I'm going to sit here. We can lock guys in place for the shotguns to fire on. We'll try to go for it at least once. Too many, uh... That's not right. Too many spicy maneuvers you're gonna stab us in the back. Get into position here. I want less of the orcs to be showing, but just enough of them, that way it's not just Drazar. There we go, kinda like that. 
All right, then we'll put on the towers. We can go ahead and afford all the way up to the explosive tower, and I think we absolutely will. Explosive tower here. Here, two tower there. All right, warriors, let's do this. Here they come. They're just bringing the lads to the mines. They think they brought their own tools and everything. Bring the lads to work day. Every day on the other side, they're going to stream through completely uncontested. We'll go ahead and put in a trap here as soon as we're able. Because my armored warriors don't mind holding the line there for, for some time. Come to Savage Boys. That's not the Hobgoblin. Start the Hobgoblin's firing. We've got the Dreadquake now as well. Let's wait till we see a lot of them all clumped up. And then we'll drop the Doom. There's a couple of good spots where they can pretty easily separate. So far in the second group then. Shotguns should start tearing into them now. There we go. Oh yeah, that's perfect. Blends them up. Right, bring the orcs back up. Uh, what does this give us? This will block chance. Nothing really actually that good in the back. All right, trust the, uh, we have to trust them now. That's a glorious sight. We're probably missing out on good opportunities for nukes, though, so let's keep an eye. This is a pretty good one. I do think we want to wait till they're kind of all clumped up around our guys. Man, that's going to be a pretty good one. Let's do it. There's three units here in one area. And from the skies. Oh, one of them hit directly in the middle. Oh, that's perfect. Right, York made it in. Orc war boss, that is. Go ahead and step them forward, have them kind of eviscerate this group of savage orcs. Pull them back. That tier 2 tower is actually doing seriously good work. Go ahead and set up here, lads. Gonna take too long for the towers to come in on top, I believe. We could slow them down uh, with platforms where able. I just don't know if we're going to have enough time. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and try to have the, the warriors push through. Not sure really what's going on here. Bring these hobgoblins back around. And the shotguns tear them up. Keep them attracted to you guys, but only just. I'll move up a little bit, but as soon as they can start firing, they will. This one guy here should be keeping them in place. Alright, archers, let's go ahead and turn back around. Get this next group. Are they not able to fire? I thought they would be. How are they doing that? Just staying just barely around the outskirts? Give them a volley, it's not doing any damage, interesting. Alright, come on back up the hill then. I figured they would still get a volley or two at least. Let's bring the archers around. They're capturing that last point now. With so many savage orcs. Alright, that boss is done though. Cut them down. We'll move them up a little bit so they have better range. Oh, 
poison on the other side. Once we've defeated this first group, we will figure out another uh, use for our shotguns. It's going to be a little bit tough to utilize them here. We've got several buildings under attack, but it did slow them down. Right, before we take out this next group, I'm really not sure what's wrong with these savage orcs. They look to be... They look to be confused. Well done there. I'm Gabo, lads. Alright, tower's blasting. Let's go ahead and see if we can upgrade this one. It's beautiful. Exactly what we need. Multiple explosive towers. Alright. Angry boy's back. Let's see if we can't turn these archers around to finish him off. He's got no health. He's still a war boss. He's got he's got a lot of damage he can throw out. All right, here they come. All right, now we're. It says you have only so much range, but prove me wrong and just shoot these savage orcs here on the side. Do the thing. Right, their boss is gone. Next group of lads is broken. We'll go ahead and just have you set up here then. Our archers are almost out of ammo. It is such a sad day. Should have no ability to fire, so we're not gonna not gonna get any friendly fire here, thankfully. I'm got my cutthroats can go about this position instead. Yes. Oh, lords. The scene draws are falling just yet. Just tons and tons of orcs. Alright, so we're going to pull you through. And this group of shotguns is going to come over and just annihilate everything that tries to come through. That's the play. These warriors here appear to have been broken by that first group of uh, shotgun volleys. Out of ammunition on that side. We'll have them set up as the, the fodder here then. That's not all of them. There's a couple units still over here. Make sure they are all stacked on in, and then... In the surprise of their life. Sounds good to me. I should be braised. With the law at the same time. Oh, it was perfect. I mean, the warrior's taking a little bit of damage, but don't worry about that. Acceptable loss, as that was. He was good. Here with our shotgun trap we set up. Here come the orcs. That's the first group gone, and uh, a fourth of the secondary one. Ooh, it's a bad day to be an orc. Watch to make sure we don't need to. Right, go ahead and catch them. Another volley, boys. If you would. Gotta love the, the shotgun cocking sound. Right before they fire. Look at him go! Ooh, almost. He almost made it. So close. Yeah, the poor, uh... Dobby's our warriors on this side were the, the main brunt of those Dreadquake shots. Alright, 
This army's still broken from before. Plan to leave them that way for as long as we can. Boys out of range. Have our towers switch targets. And they're shocked. They can't believe what just happened. Well, you think you get to flee? Oh, here's the thing. Now we don't like cowards here. In fact, you look wonderful for the mines. Blend them up to die. Please. Do something. All right, we're gonna round up as many of these orcs here as I can. Oh, there we go. I'll catch y'all in a moment. So willingly, the orcs come to the mines. 210 gathered up there. We can probably gain a few more. Well, you know what? This time I actually want the gold. Make way for my greatness or suffer the consequences. Uh, defensive alliance. He's currently fighting with... The Golden Order. There's really nothing that the Gores can offer me. So, no. The great Bull speaks and names you. Will you answer, creature? Not aggression pact. Listen, Olaf. It's never gonna happen. Ooh, a Baratus has traveled through a maze of chaotic passages. Our convoy has encountered a mysterious looking portal, simply begging for further exploration. Both rewards and dangers could rely beyond its swirling vortex. Such a risk worth taking. Take the risky path. Oh, no, we have no time to waste. Larkarod is gone. Now the warping taint to which the bull centaurs are subjected eventually leads to the hardening and distorting of their flesh, as they appear to be made of living metal. Extra armor, extra melee defense. They are some chonky boys. Uh, now we've got a new mission for gaining a substantial income. A thousand treasury, a war banner, and a crown of command. Kind of a weak set of rewards there. He draws with. This belongs to me. What are, what are you two doing? This isn't Karakate Peaks. This is just the demon stuff. And it belongs to Bruce. Thank you kindly. Uh, then Bruce is going to turn this into a lovely new factory to make it a defensive point. Since we have a landmark here, we definitely want to make sure it stays in our control. Bloodthirster Prison on the right bank of the River Ruin. An immense pillar of rock juts forth, holding captive the Bloodthirster Baldor and preventing his escape. I'm sure he's... So very furious. We take take the normal fury of corn and then enhanceify it. The nth degree. So extra wins for faction wide and then more root rank for all of our demons and sorcerers. That's pretty great. Pretty great indeed. I'm going to immediately move uh, to put in some walls. 600 for the factory upgrade. I mean. Don't mind if I do. Trust it though, you need to move on. Oh, you you also have a red rust. How are you enjoying? Yes, yeah, flying machines are quite amazing. We got rug the eyeball over here too. One thing we will have to keep in mind that is as we weaken Dusty, we're also weakening the uh, the enemies of Karakadrin. So that means Karakadrin will be our next major threat. Them and Karazakarak both. Well, thankfully, we have been annihilating Grimgore quite quickly. Or Greasus. We will mix up these G names at the end of time. Grimgore I dealt with very early on. Well, rest in peace, Ogres. What are you guys up to? 63 melee defense is pretty solid. 57 for those that don't have shields. I'm here for it. 41 fall. Our tank getting 115 kills. Good boy, tank. But sack for a And then my plan is we need to just deal with Greasus as fast as we can because Imric and the two Dawi clans are gonna be much scarier of a threat than a squad of weakened ogres, so let's just finish them off. I think more outposts. 
we'll start accepting new labor here, and then in the meantime, we will just grab the uh, the money pit. Everywhere we have outposts, we will start generating or start gathering up labor there. That way, we have plenty of stockpiles to start putting in mines. A full plate armor for Kevin the beefy. Alright, for you there, Castellan. Let's just go Blade Master first and then Bandolier. It's gonna affect him a lot more because 45 shots is quite a few before running out. Bruzy Boy will keep going for his unbridled cruelty. Exactly. And I think I want to give him one unit of artillery. So we'll go ahead and give him the Ice Forge Legion. You get four hill cannons, which, uh, yes, please. This is the ROR, I think, only available to the Norskins before. And now I think Norska, Chaos, and the Chaos Dwarfs get them. I'm not sure if all of the demons do, but pretty sure Norska does. Production plant here in the Great Hall of Greases, that we would get more gold. And then we'll probably start saving a little bit of our raw materials so we can upgrade uh, Saber Mountain up to the next year. Go ahead and grab the lava fields here. I do like access to mortar ropes. Simple trading gives us that perfect vigor for all of them above rank 7. I think the only ones we have are above rank 7. Uh, where are you at, Astrogoth? Yeah, they're all pretty much max rank. So yeah, perfect vigor for everyone sounds just glorious. Snag the Wrath of Czar ability. No, I think that's just an absolute waste. We could steal other seeds too. The extra replenishment could be nice. And also there was one that was giving you armor every three turns. Quartermaster's pretty good too. Yeah, we'll just go ahead and save, though. Uh, same thing with our Hellforge. If we're going to go for any more upgrades, it's likely going to be to the uh, just melee infantry themselves. Giving everyone charge reflection allows us to not worry about uh, microing them nearly as hard. But if anything, I'm probably just going to go ahead and just give them glittering scales here way later on. Just have that be the one buff we give our, our infantry. Dropping everyone's melee attack is trying to fight them by five. It's just... So, so useful. Allows our checkerboards to be uh, even more impenetrable than normal. Especially once we start able to start getting more fire glaives. Alright, let's pull up our province tab real quick. Everything looks to be finished on up. Pull up our labor economy. You have no reason to be screaming yet, people. Don't worry, you will. Go ahead and send some sacrifices back to Zonagrund at both of these here. That's probably all we can really afford. All right, about two more turns and we've got ourselves another seat. For, that. for our next research, we'll go ahead and finish off the alchemical remedies to get us that uh, re uh, replenishment. And then, tyrannical decrees, we'll finish off, probably go for keep reduction from tower patrols, sounds nice. 20% more income from gem and gold mines, or more iron and timber armaments. This will be where we go for the merchant guilds. So first, remedies, second, decrees, then up this line. Alright, Earl, are there any, are there any green skins to pick off? He just appears to be running for his life now. Let's come on down, see what's happening with the Greenskins. We've got a couple armies here in the middle, and if they don't know where we're at, we'll, we'll wait for them to come on down after us, and then we'll just jump on the Blasted Expanse. That means Ungrim's going to get himself the Silver Pinnacle. We might want to try to claim it first. Oh, his army's going to be so much scarier than Earl's. I mean, we do have Grimgore. He's not quite as beefy as his Iron Hide itself, but... Alright, Sindras, let's come on down to the Desolation of Drakenmoor. We're pretty positive there's rats here. 
Oh, there's really not. Oh, we wasted gold. So if there aren't rats, you don't get the gold back. But if there are, you do. I'm not sure exactly why. It's just that's how it works. Grimas Madaku. Yep. You're playing lookout for now. Um, we shall worship the great bull god together and offer many sacrifices. That's how he sounds. Uh, come. Let us sign a non-aggression pact. I'm truthfully only trading with you for now, so I can uh, keep you at arm's length. I'll pop you on the head with a stick later. Sounds great, right? Four-eyed chickens can work in the mines just as well as the groby can. The cacophony of roars and feral shrieks rings out ahead of your cacophony or your your convoy. Another dog elf beastmaster. We could add ourselves a feral mammoth. Truthfully, this army is a little bit lacking, so let's go ahead and grab ourselves. Even if it's kind of a weaker feral mammoth, we'll go ahead and grab it. We accept the beast. And Rick was discovered ambushing. Oh boy. There you are. So he was discovered ambushing and somehow switched back into in camp stance right afterwards. That's lucky. Wish I could do that. He is breathing down our necks here. Ah oh, man, if he didn't have the Star Dragon, I would say this is an easy fight. Just avoid Emrick, scare him off. Afterwards, but that's a lot of archers. Alright, we've got a malignant totem coming on in now, so we've got the Breath of Hatred. Which I think we absolutely are going to need. And a Castle and Drillmaster. Look at that. Grand Reaper gives us an extra capacity for a Lamasu, which I do not care about. Doomskull Key. And All right, listen. Demon Stump does have shotguns. A waste. Of if Emmerich thought he could win the fight, he probably would have already come on in. Doesn't mean he still won't, but so let's go. Last one into stick him. Nine more attack, twenty percent more strength. 43, 48 sounds perfect for our cutthroats. They're still going to be trying pretty hard to get through these Spearman's shields, though. If he decides to come on, it's going to be quite the battle. Oh, Dusty's shooting in from the, uh... Oh, sneaky boy. Fair enough. Not much I can do about that. The one play I didn't expect, and by not much I can do about it, I mean I'm going to grab me a lord and say, go away. Go ahead and grab us a Death Lord. A shoot. Metal. Gotta have something a little bit better here. Or just fire. Really, not really any good lords. Consider diplomatic relations with all factions. I mean, it's not extra murdery, but we'll take it. All right, Dusty. You think you can handle it? Let's do it. We'll go ahead and give you the Immortals. Just recruit those right on in. The Empire is threatened. And then from the Servants, we can go ahead and grab... We are still locked to the, the capacity, so when you're recruiting from other uh, Chaos Dwarves, you're not able to exceed your own capacity still. So that's the you to keep in mind. Can't have units that take two turns to come on in. And I really don't want a great Taurus. They've just been letting me down left and right. That's the only real units I can get, though. Now this is unfortunate. We'll grab us some... Some Chaos Dwarf Warriors of the Great Weapons. Is it through Global we'll grab some Goblin Laborers? Just make us look a little bit more intimidating. This is the, if you see a Grizzly Bear in the woods, put your arms up and pretend you're scary. You're not. Not scarier than a Grizzly, but I don't know that. Upkeep. Recruitment cost. Well, Brutal Disciplinarian will be what we get, if we can. Armor and ammo, health, and then upkeep reduction for... Oh, really? 
Watching for Chaos God is all about sleep is being trying to ambush me. Ooh, yawn out of nowhere. Uh, we'll do... I, mean, I guess Harsh Master is what we're going to go for. It's going to give him more leadership. And then we'll try to snag uh, the ability to make them even better. So just give them even more leadership. We'll fight for as long as they can. Exactly. All right. Got our replenishment. Ambush chance. All right, so let's come on down and grab the tyrannical decrees. I present more income for refining. Actually, no, that's not as useful as coming up to the merchant guilds right now. Let's come all the way up through to industrial security. Siege supplies, siege logistics. We'll think about that one. Alright, labor is looking alright, but not enough to send anyone back. So it's surplus, but not too much. After all, normally I would just go ahead and stamp out the undead, but we're not going to this time. We'll jump through the underway. Right here. Hello there, Greasus. Surprise, Chaos Dwarfs, right on your doorstep. Don't quite, actually, oh, one more rank and he can get the tank. Okay, all we needed to do is get the tank and then bring that ROR in with Bruce. And he should be able to handle Emric. I think Dragon versus Great Big Fireproof Tank goes in our, our favor. Oh, we can start recruiting some Hell Stingers from here. That's the way, isn't it? Before we decide it is, we can do the same here, getting better bull centaurs. Ah, yeah, great weapon bull centaur to rook is what I'm going to like, punch my desk, but I'm kind of been waiting for here. Yeah, chaotic creatures have been here, but they can do the least amount of damage. Yeah, we'll bring them on here, here. Yeah, here. Yeah. More bull centaurs. Alright, Bruce, hold the line. If we could get him in the underway, I would be even more happy, but I think that'd be a bad, bad idea. Alright, who else has move besides you? Bruce and Earl. Figured as much. Hello there, Gouger. How would you like to come on back to the mines? No, no, so you don't get a choice. The mines are a requirement. Alright, signs of victory. They have artillery, so all the results likely to be slightly unkind to us. Let's see. Alright, not as bad as I could have thought. So we'll have them since on back as labor. We'll move on with this crew. Take down the blasted expanse. They've got a unit recruiting up here, then we'll turn from here after the silver pinnacle. All right, let's surround. Uh, for skill points, we want Kindle Flame, absolutely. <laughs> uh, and then uh, scouting for more magical items. Girl, you and Grimgore, smash. We'll get one more battle in here for this episode. It should be a pretty fast one. We'll get to see Grimgore in action, too. He's expendable. Wow. That's dark. All right. Your reinforcements are coming in from beside us. Grimgor can handle both of you. You know what? We'll have Grimgor just go sit up over here and wait for their their other lord to come in. We can clobber them, and then we'll set up our other boys, where we'll have a checkerboard of goblins and hop goblins. Grab the hob goblins and bring them in down. Or boys, napalm bombs in the center, and then 
or a poison this side. Lot doing the same thing as last time with the Taruk. That worked out gloriously. Not looking to be up in the. Oh, you're not. You're not flying. I see. Two great Tauruses with this squad and our artillery. All right, so Demon Smith, Sorcerer Prophet, main characters. Slaves and infantry, archers, and then our skirmish cav. Let's do it. Rook, let's go ahead and smash those orcs. Artillery away. Go ahead and explode their boss. Boss hog goblin. Draw them towards the Taruk. Might get a few swings, but not many. I believe it's a different color fire. It looks fantastic. Go ahead and fall back so we're not taking those free free shots from the enemy archers. They do counter our skirmishers. Spicy danger noodles here. Throw the fireball here. Both the great tours, you guys come work together against uh, these Gabo archers. That'd be great. These poor poor boys are well well outmatched. All right, artillery, here's your new target. Go ahead and draw them back over here towards our archers. Double Red Bull Smackdown. Too much Red Bull just sends you to the afterlife. Fall back, we'll go ahead and actually have you charge in. Little fireball while you're at it. Stay close enough to the blazing beards. Yeah, there goes the grenades. Actually, vaguely grenade shaped too. All right, that's going fun on this side. Grimgor, go get the boss. I saw one of our archers starting to get into combat, but they, they stop pretty quickly. Robo Grimgore inbound. Alright, so you have your next. You got that Bludge Forged armor if you need to. Let's grab Get Snick going. Oh, let's turn into a Grimgore campaign. Just like that. Here come the. Here come the Snotlings. Oh, they knocked Grimgore on his. right on his cheeks. Looks like they just keep advancing into the death. Uh, Taruk, you and the raiders come on over and help out. One more volley of arrows. Spicy arrows. They have a nasty bird. Yeah, impressive to make it into fight. You boys can just give him a charge if you need to. Uh, Grimgore is uh, he's winning, but he's he's a bit outnumbered here. That blood forged armor again. I'm black are about to have some new friends. All right, arrows inbound, and they miss. They're trying to fire the ones at the front. They know it. Oh, Grimgore clops. He does. I think they need to make him a little bit bigger. He needs to outright dwarf a uh, normal orc war boss. He needs to be absolutely gigantic soon. So does Grimgore, though. 
the same cream part. What does Grease says? Grease is a little bit small for what he's supposed to be. Alright, that's an easy victory there. We'll go ahead in the battle. Alright, 12 have fallen. We are disappointed in each and every one of you. Uh, we shall sack the Blast Expanse. Okay, so unfortunately this war boss does get to survive. We might need to go run him down. Nah. This is going to be our new... We don't have a factory here, so we'll go ahead and set up a factory. That way we have ourselves a defensive position here too. It's less for the factory itself and more for the defenses. Well, they've got a gunsmith already. already. Let's go ahead and tear that on out. Dumthaumansi! We want the walls, not the gunsmith. Alright, point into Burning Head. Let's give you Fireball. Or Grim Gore. Let's give him the Replenish Troops. We'll finish the Replenish passive and then come on down through upgrading our work laborers then. We're definitely going to need them against the Slayer Hordes. We got 3k more. Let's see what our Robin Stab says. Blood Peak, how close are you to danger? Again, kind of in the middle. Since it is so central. Go ahead and put in the walls there. Ignore the production plant in the Vale of Titans. We can build up more raw materials. Not for the upgrading of the Challenge Stone or something similar. Recruit rank faction wide. We'll go ahead and grab this one now. That way that's ready to go for our next uh, heroes or, or lords, either one. And the upgrade of the walls here. Black Fang, I think I'll do that. Yep, yeah, sounds good. Walls, walls, walls. Bruce hasn't moved because he's staring down the barrel of a uh, star dragon. Move our castle as the who else has been moved. Oh no, not Sindras. Alright, well, no more green skin armies, so looks like we've got them broken now. It's both a good and a bad thing for us. Oh man. The undead tide is upon them. So much labor for us. We need to get over into the Empire soon. First, we need to finish conquering the Darklands, though. That way we have our. Beneath the Steel Sky route finished for the Cursed Denied. Blood Rune Bracers and a campaign, another secondary campaign victory. We're just missing the rest of the Darklands. We are getting there. Got to stamp out Imric, Dusty, and then make friends or confederate with uh, Draz Hoeth. Don't worry about my mobility, Scooter. It won't drain your blood. Definitely not. Or your soul. Oh, Throg wants to train. Yeah, they're trade. Not train. Either one will be fine by me. Uh, no, yeah, we can, we can grab you all the way up to Defensive Alliance. Here's what we'll do, though. No Defensive Alliance, but we will snag lots of money. That's the way. Norskins can offer us goodies. They mostly are going to have, like, the big mammoths and such that we can take advantage of. So we can get ourselves some kind of mobile firing platform for the lads. Since I'm really bad at ending these before an hour long now. I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here as we're... Conquering Scrap Towers. I am out of time for today. Thank you all so much for helping by today's Astrogoth Iron Hand campaign. If you enjoyed the video, remember to leave a like for the light god and a sub for the sub throne. Oh no. And I'll see you all in the next one.